Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. This is our Yogari New series called March to the Beat of Your Own Drum, which is a yoga class with live music. I'm Patrick, the yoga director at Yogari New, and I'm here with Mr. Michael Brown, who is our musician for today's class. Today's class is going to be a little bit uh, more mellow, so we do need a few more props than usual. I have actually four yoga blankets. I'm sitting up on two. I have two blankets right here. I also have a bolster, grab a bolster, and I do have a yoga strap. So grab those props or any of the household alternatives that you might use for these props. And then once you have them, let's start in a comfortable cross-legged seat. I'm sitting in Sukhasana, which translates as easy seat, crossing in the middle of my shins. Once you come to a comfortable cross-legged seat, take your hands by your sides, press down, lift your chest, roll your arms back, let your eyes settle on the horizon, and bring your hands to your heart, and let your eyes close. Just take a few breaths in and out through your nose. Giving yourself permission to be present fully in your body, your mind, your breath over the course of this practice together. Put your head bowed towards your heart. Bring your hands to your thighs. Relift your head. Let your eyes gently open. So we'll just start with some simple neck and head circles. So bring your chin towards your chest and then drop your right ear over towards your right shoulder. And then let your head move back. Bringing your left ear towards your left shoulder then your chin down to the center again. And then same direction, right ear to right shoulder, and then back, left ear to left shoulder, forward. One more time, moving to the right. the other direction, taking your left ear to your left shoulder, back around, over to the right, down to center, and then again to the left, to the right, to center, one more time to the left. center. Bring your head back up over your heart. Have your hands on your knees. Now we'll just move the spine to the right, forward, and back, and to the right. So they can be bigger circles, smaller circles. You can pause in places that feel tight or cramped or need a little more attention but just find that rhythm for yourself. And then let's start to move into the other direction, to the left. Just using your breath to find a nice circular rhythm. Good, and when you come to center, just roll your way back up. We'll start on our hands and knees. We'll just do a simple little warm up to get the spine moving before we move into a few simple restorative poses. Bring your hands under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Breathe in, lift your chest, cow pose. Breathe out, cow pose, cat pose, excuse me. And you can just 
take those circular motions that we were just doing and bring them to this cat and cow. Breathing in and breathing out. So it doesn't have to be just straight forward and back. Be a little side to side, front to back, cat and cow. Breathing in. And then widen your knees, let your big toes touch. Sit your hips back to your heels. Crawl your hands all the way forward for child's pose. Let your head relax. Just take a full breath in. And a full breath out. And go ahead and breathe in. Come back onto your hands and knees. I'm going to do this simple thread the needle. Take your right hand out to the right. Turn your chest up like you want to grab the ceiling. Breathe in. Thread your right wrist, be your right hand behind your left wrist. Lay your right ear on the floor. You can use your left hand like a kickstand. And cross your ankles if that feels like it'll help you stay stable. And then use that left hand. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, just lean into your back and turn your trunk. Take one more breath. And a full breath out. Uncross your legs. Press that left hand down. Unravel again. Take that right hand back up to the ceiling. You'll maybe notice it's a little more open. Breathe in. And then bring it down. Take your left hand out to the left and then turn to the ceiling, breathe in. Thread that hand behind your right wrist all the way over. You can hook your ankles, use that right hand as a lever to turn your trunk. Breathe in. Breathe out. Cross your legs, press your right hand down, unravel yourself, and then take that left hand out and up one more time. Breathe in, turn your trunk, bring your hand down. Move your hands a little forward of your shoulders, your knees a little back, curl your toes, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Let this down dog be simple. Maybe not so much movement. Just let your head relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go ahead and tap your knees down. Sit back on your heels. set up for this first restorative pose which is a classic called Supta Baddha Konasana. I'm going to use one bolster and three blankets and you can modify as needed. So I'm going to take my bolster long ways. I'm going to use one of my blankets as a pillow. Just fold it in half. I'll use two other blankets, open them up, then I'll roll them like logs. You want to just make sure that they're rolled evenly so that both legs get the same opening and they're symmetrical or as symmetrical as they can be. Roll up this second one. And you're gonna start seated in front of the bolster. I have a little rolled log on the right, one on the left, and then the back of my pelvis is touching the bolster, but I'm gonna move my hips a few inches forward and then use my hands to lie back. 
the two logs from my legs, I'm going to have them in my hands, the soles of my feet can come together. I'll let my knees go wide and you want the logs to hold both your upper and your lower leg. So I mean your leg bone below your knee, towards your ankle and your leg bone above your knee, your femur bone. You can adjust this blanket for your head and then let your hands rest by your side, palms up. And then go ahead and let your eyes close. To help us relax, besides the beautiful music, we'll do some guided breath work to take, take us a little bit deeper into ourselves, quiet the mind. There's a famous quote by yoga master BKS Iyengar, and he says, the breath is the king of the mind. And if we make our breath have certain qualities, our mind will take on those same qualities. So for now, we want our breath to be smooth and long. calming, grounding, peaceful and harmonious so that, so that our mind may take those same qualities. So go ahead and breathe in through your nose about halfway. Empty all the air from your body. Thank you. 
your knees together. Extend your legs long, one at a time. Once your legs are long, you're going to take one of your rolled logs and place it on top of your thigh bones, maybe right above your knees. practice called three-part breath, where we're going to breathe into our belly, pause, then our ribs, and pause, and then our chest, and pause, and we'll take one long exhale all the way out. So you'll breathe in through your nose about halfway, empty all the air from your body. Go ahead and breathe into your belly, pause, breathe into your side ribs, pause, breathe up to your collarbones, pause at the top, take a long smooth exhalation down through the soles of your feet. followed by a few regular cycles of breath. cross-legged seat for a moment. Just do one final pose. You're going to need one blanket, your strap, and a bolster. So, your one blanket can be on the very thin setting just to give your head a little more support. You'll put your bolster long ways on your mat, like that. Then 
then you'll take your strap. Mine already has a loop, but make sure you have a loop. And then you're gonna make the loop about hip distance wide or a little smaller. So you're gonna sit on the front edge of this bolster. I'm gonna put my feet in the loop. And I put the loop right on my outer ankles. And that gives my legs some channels so that the energy can move clearly down through my feet. So once I'm here, I'm going to use my hands. I'm going to lie back. And this pose is called Setu Banda Sarvangasana. So once I get here, you might want to watch first. I have to now extend my legs. And I'm going to grab the sides of the bolster and curve my upper back over the edge. You want the back of your head on the blanket. Here's the blanket and it shouldn't be under your back, it just catches your neck and your head. My face is parallel to the ceiling. The back of my head is completely flat. My chin is tucked towards my chest. I take my arms out in a cactus shape, elbows level with my armpits. My palms open and relaxed. And then I'm gonna breathe in all the way over my chest down to my armpits. And as I breathe out now, my abdomen can empty. I can feel the channels of my legs clearly. Relax your throat, relax your tongue, relax your eyes.
straddling the bolster so wide. I'm gonna take your hands by your side. And when you press your heels down and lift your hips, you push the bolster forward. And you push it all the way forward so that your buttocks comes down flat on the yoga mat. And then we're gonna cross our shins on top of the bolster, like Sukhasana, easy seat. Just let your legs rest there for a moment.
side and rest there. Just use those hands to find a comfortable cross-legged seat. You can sit up on something have it available. Sit up nice and tall. Keep your eyes closed. Just take these next few moments to observe quietly. bow towards your heart. Go ahead, relift your head and let your eyes gently open. Thank you so much for joining me in today's class. As always, thank you, Michael providing beautiful music as we got to practice. See you on the mat again next time.